Hi, my name is Peter Fisher and uh, welcome to the fourth part of the MySQL console tutorials. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate how to create a database as well as a table within that database using the MySQL console and the Linux. So let's uh, let's dive into the console then. Um, and uh, I'll just put in my password to get in. And uh, if we do show databases we can see we've just got the information schema. Now we want to create a database and this database for instance is going to be called uh, test. Um, so the syntax is create database uh, test. Okay, so if we do uh, show databases again we can see that we've just created this, uh, this database. Now the next thing we need to do is um, uh, create a table and now a table is a representation of a series of entities now an entity is made up of um, several um, attributes or in you know uh, in a database uh, in the database world it's a series of columns um, such as uh, the, an ID or uh, a first name or something that um, makes up this entity. In the terms of, I'll just give, give you a quick example, um, an entity could be um, a customer or a order or a product where a customer entity would have multiple orders and an order entity would have multiple products. So it's a shopping cart scenario on an e-commerce website. Um, the customer entity would be made up of a first name and a last name um, a set of uh, fields. A order would be made up of something like the order date, the order, uh, the time in which the order was uh, processed, uh, the status of the order, uh, whether it's been paid or not. Um, then there would be a, a series of relational uh, links which are called foreign. Uh, keys in uh, the database uh, terminology that would link to the products which are within the order. So you would have um, the order would have multiple uh, uh, links to products because uh, multiple products can be in an order, and a product would be made up of uh, the product name, description, image, uh, the date in which the product was uploaded. It could it itself could have links to the um, the amount of stock that uh, product. Has um, and so forth, but I'll um, I'll t discuss uh, foreign keys uh, and um, you know one to many, many to many um, uh, relationships uh, later on. But uh, it, just keep in mind that um, MySQL is a relational uh, database um, structure. It allows for uh, multiple entities to be connected. In, uh, in a manner of ways and we'll discuss those later on but today I'm just going to focus on creating a customer table just one table um, with uh, the very basic information but uh, before I do that um, I've just created this uh, test database and in order for me to act or perform any actions on this uh, database I need to use it so just type in use test um, we can see that the database pointer has been changed to the test database. So if we do show tables now, we will see that this is completely empty because this is a nice fresh uh, test database that we've just created. So let's um, move on to creating a table then. So let's do the um, blah, can't spell. Uh, create table syntax. So create table and we're going to call it customer. Um, now I'm going to do this on several lines because it's easier to, to, to for me to input and for you to read. So uh, create table customer. We hit enter. Now all the fields, all the things that make up a customer, are um, represented in a in a, in a, a bracketed, comma separated list. So uh, within the brackets we have the um, First of all, we have the field name, and then we have a series of um, uh, data types and, and attributes of this field. Um, 
So for example, uh, the first one we're going to put in is the ID. Now the ID is going to be, uh, the customer ID is, is the unique identifier for the customer entity, or, you know, the customer record. So um, uh, this will be an integer or an, or an int. Um, it is going to be the primary key. Now I'm not going to touch too much on the primary key um, today, but uh, it's the unique identifier for, it is the pro primary index for the, uh, for this, um, this record, if you will. Um, it is going to be auto incremented, auto underscore incremented, which means that every time a uh, new um, uh, customer record is added, the ID is uh, incremented once. Um, and um, it's a, it just means that this record has it, it's a unique identifier, which is the uh, which is the ID, which is the primary key. Uh, so we'll do a comma for the next line down. So ID in primary key auto underscore. Yeah, that's fine. Spelling is alright. Uh, and this one is going to be the first name, first underscore name. It's always good to keep your um, your field names. Um, lowercase and underscore. Um, it's personal preference to have it lowercase um, but uh, do keep underscores in because when you're programming it's very you know it can be a a bit of a chore to uh, uh, deal with spaces in, uh, in you know in programming so it's always good to either use a camel case or um, lowercase with uh, with an underscore to separate the, uh, the the words. So the first name uh, will be a varchar, which means that it is a string, uh, and we are going to give it 30 characters. So that's the length of the string. So the first name can be, can only be can have a maximum of 30 characters. And we'll do the next one, and we'll give it a last name. We'll also were last name. And we'll also give that a bar chart of uh, chart of 30 as well. So that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm only going to do the integers and the bar charts. In the future episodes, I'll, I'll touch on uh, different data types um, like uh, uh, date time and um, I don't know uh, password, for instance. That's a good one. Uh, so let's close the bracket and the semicolon and this fingers crossed if I've done this correctly will create the uh, customer table which it has so if we do uh, don't know why I'm sounded surprised there show day show tables to show the table uh, we can see that the uh, customer table has now been created now I'll also show you how to explain this table so explain or well actually describe describe uh, customer now what this is doing um, is it's just giving you giving you a nice uh, output of the the structure of this table and you know all its fields so for example you've got the fields here the ID first name and last name you can see there the field type or the, you know the data type that's what I've just mentioned um, you can see that uh, the first name and last name um, is is null whereas the ID isn't uh, so that means that the the, the the first name and last name um, they don't have to be there but the, the ID does because it is the uh, primary key it is the uh, the um, the uniquely identified key. Um, none of these have a default value, so um, that that basically means that if you don't supply anything, it will it will give it a, a default value. Uh, and we haven't we haven't um, uh, added one of those in. And the extra bit is you know the, any extra attributes. And as we can see on the ID, we have an auto incremented uh, extra. And we can see here that there's three rows within this. Um, so that's how you uh, create a table and add it to a new database.